NIAD story. The Dow up almost 400 points, up 400 points on this news that it looked like that study showed that there was some positive news in using remdesivir for the treatment of COVID-19. They say they understand the trial has met its primary endpoint and that they will provide detailed information at an upcoming briefing. This is um, the one that, that, this is the one that Meg was talking about as well, that we were waiting for this. We knew it was going to come this week. There's no control group, I think Meg pointed out, so it's not going to be perfect, but yes. after the China news put a damper on that stat report that it came out about those 123 patients that, uh, that, that did much better, very uh, few mortalities that came out, then the China study came out, uh, as you pointed out, it wasn't, it was, it was ended, not because it wasn't working necessarily, it was ended because the dynamic patients were getting Kramer, to his credit, said do not, you know, and he got, remember that day, he got people like vociferous about not listening to, to China in terms of some of these trials. Yeah. I don't, you know, this is still, we don't know that much. This also, meeting a primary endpoint. Yeah, meeting a primary endpoint is pretty yeah, that's significant. That's a big deal. Yeah. Meeting a primary endpoint, and that is again for the NIAID study. Remdesivir, or Gilead has been running a second study, its own study, uh, for a shorter five day duration of therapy because the, the one that we're talking about today from the government, that one is a 10 day study treatment course that was evaluated at trial. durations of remdesivir patients, and that's going to be coming later in May, so we'll be hearing more about that then, too. Again, the Dow future's up by 365, and I haven't seen where Gilead shares are. It's halted, but remember also that... that I said they we, opened it up again. Did they open it? They, remember that? Uh, let me come back and look. They did. Uh, we have asked Dr. Scott Gottlieb about this a lot. He has pointed out that yeah. there's reason to believe that it could be effective. With Ebola, it was somewhat effective, but not as effective as, as antibody drugs for Ebola. But Dr. Gottlieb pointed out it, it inhibits viral replication and it was being used on very sick patients. The very sick patients are sick because of the auto response in their lungs. So you would need to use something like this presumably before the, the virus had actually taken hold where you're, where you're hurting viral replication. And that's been the thing. Joe, the, the complicated part, though, about this remdesivir drug is if, in fact, and we need to watch for this, if, in fact, it needs to be used currently, as you know, this is intravenous, this is an endocrine form, at least not yet. And so if the whole idea of its success is about its early, uh, its early use, that becomes more complicated again back to this issue of with COVID-19. And in fact, um, this may actually be better news because the NIH trial is one that's considered the gold standard because it was double-blind and placebo-controlled, whereas Gilead's severe trial was not placebo-controlled. And so what they're saying is that they're aware of positive data emerging from that NIH study of remdesivir. Uh, they realize, they understand that the trial's met its primary endpoint and, and NIH will provide detailed information at an upcoming briefing. dose would be five days or ten days, um, which would dramatically impact how much supply of this medicine could be available. If it's a five-day course, you have twice as much of the drug to be able to give to patients. So the fact that the NIH study met its primary goal is, is very good news. 
news um, because that is the gold standard study, guys. So we're going to wait to hear more about when this briefing uh, from the NIH comes. Um, but but a good update and, and not what we were expecting to hear from Gilead. We should get more data in just the next day or two from Gilead itself, guys. by late May. So this is a month ahead of schedule for the NIH trial to read out. Gilead's first trial was supposed to read out today or tomorrow, and probably still is. So we're still waiting on that data, but we're getting the NIH look.